One of the hardest things for first responder couples to navigate is that transition home after shift. So if you and your family struggle to navigate this time, you're not alone. My best advice when it comes to this is don't act like it's just gonna happen smoothly all on its own. Get ahead of it. Have conversations early and often about what this needs to look like for the two of you in order for you both to be your best selves. On top of that, you have to acknowledge that there are some other things at play here that are making this transition home so much harder than other professions, such as the hypervigilance biological roller coaster. So famously talked about by Dr. Kevin Gilmartin in his book, Emotional Survival for Law Enforcement. This is the description of that very heightened mental state that is required of first responders while on shift, responding to potentially life-threatening situations that unfortunately impacts them physically and mentally as soon as they transition home. Listen to Dr. Gilmartin and I talk about what's happening for first responders on and off shift and what couples can do about it. First responders are up here. So when they get off duty, it goes equal and opposite. So the energized, uh, alert, quick decision maker becomes the, the detached, isolated person who just wants to be left alone, doesn't want to engage, doesn't want to make decisions, doesn't even want to speak. And if couples don't understand that, the relationship really can get fractured. We lose so many solid marriages and families because of this transition home from work that we don't help them prepare for. And, it, and it's tragic to watch that over the years. That's right. Couples, when you don't understand this as a physiological process, you start to take it personal. Like they don't like us. They don't want to be home. They enjoy work more. That may not be the case. You have to have this conversation and see it for what it is and discuss this before they come home. You can work this out. It's different for everyone, but I encourage you to have the conversation. For more information from Dr. Gilmartin, check out your emotional survival section in your Cortico Wellness app, where you can find a summary of his book, a link to his online training courses, and many more great videos.